what's up guys i want to have a quick serious video with you um so there's been a lot going on and i thought i would share my uh perspective on why the economy does not work and it boils down to one simple thing it is that we cannot threaten <laughs> corporations and major business owners with violence and I say cannot, we can't do that because I can't say the alternative. I can't promote it. And, uh, you know, I'm not going to. But the reason why, you know, the cost of living is constantly going up and everything is getting more expensive is because they can raise the prices. People will say it's because of inflation, because, you know, the more of something you have, the less value it has. So the more of U.S. currency we have, the less vol value, the less value the dollar has. So therefore, it requires more of that currency to pay for things. And that's why prices inflate. That's I'm not saying that's not true, but it's not. Because if you. Honestly, give like two fucking seconds of a thought to think about it. Back in the 1930s, 1940s, 1950s, we used to literally firebomb businesses and blow, like literally basically like unionize and come together and fight for a fair wage, right? So right now we think, oh, well, if they raise the wage, they're going to, you know, inflation is going to increase because there's going to be more money, value of the dollar goes down, requiring more dollar to meet the cost of living. That's the concept of, oh, why we can't raise the minimum wage. But in truth, they're printing money right now. They're printing money right now as we speak. They're, they're, they've, been, they've been printing money. They've been making money for years. They, you know, they go on and off. They, they do it as they go. They're not going to print you know, three times, four times, ten times more money than they usually do just because they raise the wage. Why? Because we have a shit ton of like you know internet money we have a shit ton of fake money that's not even backed by actual u.s currency it's all typed into computers we have over four quadrillion dollars quadrillion think about that fucking number for a second quadrillion dollars of leveraged derivatives in the banking system right now that's your money that's my money that's our neighbor's money that's your your mom's money that's your your everybody's money that is in the bank the banking system that has to be protected by the bank using real u.s currency and there's honestly if you think about it with actual u.s currency i think it's like two trillion there's like two trillion dollars that's actually in circulation like actual real hard money and actual dollar that's in circulation right now and uh that's nowhere near four quadrillion it the reason why banks go insolvent is because when you go to pull your money out of the bank and they don't have the money to give you they don't have the u.s currency if we all went to the bank right now to try to pull out our money they would not have the money to give us because they don't have enough money to protect it so raising the wage isn't going to matter because they're going to get direct deposit anyway so the whole point is they militarize the police against you they listen to you know shit like this to try to snuff out the fire or put the flames down the drums of liberation but if you really give it some fucking thought the reason why prices increase and the reason why we allow them to increase and the reasons why our wages do not increase is because we allow them to and we do not physically go and take the power back from them we cannot threaten them with violence because they will snuff out our flame because they have the media to uh villainize you and criminalize you they have the uh militarized police to come to your doorstep and take you away and and and, and you know charge you with whatever they'll charge you with with uh threatening violence or whatever and, I, and i'm basically just saying that the reason why the economy is bad and the reason why it's garbage and we can't the people can't keep the one percent in check the people can't keep the the billionaires in check is because we cannot is because we can't <laughs> that that's why so just thought i would share that perspective there because uh guess what i don't know if you knew this because a lot of people like to suck the dick of billionaires uh you cannot be a billionaire and not exploit people or take advantage of them you cannot you, you can't so at some point something inhumane definitely happened to a group of people and you know we say oh well it's the foreign countries or china's and the sweatshops and 
all this shit. Well, guess what? In 1996, we literally made a deal with China, and that's why we have all this mass production that's constantly coming out of China. So, um, yeah, I mean, we're part of the problem. And we're, we're, we're all part of the problem, if you think about it, because we don't, you know, take a, accountability for that. So I just wanted to share that perspective. The reason why the economy is bad is because we, we can't take the power back from them. We cannot fight them. That's literally what it is. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like, hit the subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video. Complete.